Good morning, Shelby. Good morning, Karina. And good morning, Payson. Welcome to our Thursday edition of The Pride, because we have the Sweethearts Assembly tomorrow. The Assembly isn't the only thing to be excited. Tomorrow is Friday, the start of the weekend. Like every weekend, it's a challenge to get a date. We're doing the dating challenge. We're doing a 15 mile radius for $15. So we're gonna show you some fun things to do around Payson for $15. If you boys want a cheap dinner, just take them to McDonald's. Girls love fries. Another awesome idea to do in the winter when there is nothing to do is go sledding. After a long, hard day of sledding, you can come here and pick up a red box, go home and watch it on the couch if you know what I mean. A fun and free way to have fun with your date is have a romantic game of pool. My mind's telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. Okay guys, we're back at school after an awesome date night. <laughs> Who knew there was so much fun stuff to do under $15? Now you can see Olivia is still recovering from her sledding accident. As you can see, we'll go to McDonald's for five dollars. Everyone loves the dollar menu. We went to Redbox for a dollar. Five dollars in gas, and our total was eleven dollars. It's a pretty cheap date. Go have fun with it. Well, if you want to keep your significant other around, here are some tips. I always have a hard time keeping them around. I just call them every two minutes. I don't get it. Is your relationship down in the dumps? Are things just not the same? Oops. Are you getting bored of one another? Then follow these simple steps to turn your relationship from crappy to happy. Make sure to look good for your significant other. No one can love an ugly person. There's no such thing as too much gel, boys. Wow, I look beautiful. Wow, I have never seen you look so radiant. Thank you, you're looking mighty swell yourself. Cook him a nice meal. You know what they say, a way to a man's heart is through his stomach.
Wow, that's the best meal you ever cooked. Wow, thanks. I spent all night preparing it for you. Take her out on a date. A girl always appreciates feeling special. Thank you for taking me out on this walk, honey. It's lovely outside. I love spending time with you, honey. Make sure to keep a tidy house. No one likes a slob. Keep up the good work, darling. Always listen to her ramble on about her problems. Nothing's hotter than a man who listens. So today, I saw Martha from down the street, and she said I was looking a tad bit heavier than usual, and I was just appalled because she's no Marilyn Monroe herself. That's crazy, right? Yes. You're such a good listener, dear. Call each other every once in a while. It's nice to hear each other's voices. Hello? Are you making me dinner? Yes, honey, I'm making your favorite meatloaf. Good, just making sure. Gotta go. Okay, dear. Thanks for calling. I'm so lucky to have him. If you follow these simple steps, your relationship is sure to take a turn for the best. I love you, honey. That's nice. Oh, if there was only some eligible bachelors at Payson. Let's just go to commercial. Karina, can you dance? Um, I don't know. I think so. Hi, I'm Karina. I'm America. And we are Valentine's Day giving experts. Would you like Valentine's Day? Jacob, what do you want for Valentine's Day? What do you want for Valentine's Day? That's what we like for Valentine's Day. Okay, Angie, what do you want for Valentine's Day? What do I want for Valentine's Day? Yeah. Well, technically, I don't really want much. Or, if he likes cars, get him a brand new car because, I mean, he's going to have to give you a ride, so might as well ride in style. I want my Valentine's to actually give me a box of chocolates that would actually be cool instead of me giving it to her. And then, yeah, some balloons and hang out the way. Like a big box of candy in the shape of a car. Well, it has to be from Michael Rowling. Oh, okay. You heard that, Michael. Get him a gift. Thank you. I don't know. A nice sandwich. When would you want this sandwich? I'm done. I 
would get him something that reminds me of him. Ooh, Valentine's Day. Honestly, just to be able to wake up, go to work, go to bed. Valentine's Day is one of those holidays that's just kind of frivolous. You'll have to look that up. <laughs> I think I would like... Oh, is it recording? Yeah. I think I would like a new car. The most bestest sandwich ever. What would the sandwich be made of? Bacon and roast beef. Or you can give him a gift card to your favorite restaurant so that way he can take you out. Does I have a radio? And the bumper is falling off. And tuna fish and wheat bread. I want some of those conversation cards with the hearts that have the messages on them. Tell him how many do you want? 10,000. Okay, for who? For many ones. You heard that patient lady get fed some conversation cards. Well, it doesn't look like you know how to dance, but you sure do give good gifts. That's true. Let's go see who can really dance here at Payson. Thanks, Payson High School, for coming out and helping us and dancing with this video. Come show us your moves at Sweethearts on February 9th and the 22nd of February at the Talent Show. So you can like our videos on Facebook. And if you think you're good, share a video on Facebook and tag us at Payson High TV, and we will announce the winner next week. Have fun! And to finish off the show, we're going to have our student body president, Lexi. This Friday is our last home game. It's a green out game, so wear green. We'll be selling our spirit shirts, these backpacks, and lanyards, all for $10. It's a really good deal. So Lexi, I heard they were going to like the P. Yes, we are, but we need your donation so that we can, because it's going to cost a lot of money. So please help us donate. We'll be coming around with a jar at the game. So don't be cheap. Give money to like the P. Well, Payson, that's all we have for today. Have a great day.